Hello, I'm making a cooperative action RPG in Godot. My current focus is to complete the first chapter of my game, which has the important job of introducing players to the world. It should look something like this when done. So far I have finished the first area and begun work on the next two. In the second area, you meet Terence, who will act as a guide, so he needs some dialogue. I got this set up by displaying an enter dialogue prompt when a ray cast from the player, or both players in co-op, hits Terence. Entering dialogue adds Terence as a target for my camera, zooms in and displays the first line of dialogue in a text box. I made the text appear character by character by incrementing the number of visible characters. I drew a number of mouths in various states of speech and display a random one every few characters. Finally, I recorded myself saying various vowel and consonant sounds, pitched them down slightly, and play them as the text appears. It needs some tweaking, but I hope you can see the vision. I then display the basic combat controls at the bottom of the screen to hopefully help the player remember what Terence has told them. Moving to the next area, I currently have some bandits to fight. However, these guys are quite tough and I want some weaker enemies to ease the player in. Introducing ghouls. In my game, humanity fell a long time ago and became mindless, rage-filled ghouls, which are now decaying away. Animals, such as the player and Terence, now inhabit the world. I drew four head variations, hands, feet, and three body variations. A skinny one, a chunky one, and one missing its lower half to create a crawling enemy. I also flipped each head to add even more variety. The skinny and chunky ghouls are similar to my other enemies, just slower and weaker, with the chunky ghouls packing slightly more of a punch. The crawlers are the weakest yet, and needed new animations due to their lack of legs. Along with the ghouls, I made some critters to add some life to the world. Flies and butterflies which simply flap and follow a predefined path and birds which peck the ground until you get near them, when they will fly away. Enemies just stand around doing nothing until you get near them, so I added patrolling, allowing them to slowly walk between two points. Further down the line, I also plan on adding fun idle animations, such as head scratching and sword sharpening. One thing I realised I had set up incorrectly was my hit and hurt boxes. I had the hurt box roughly where the body is, and the hit box covering the path of the sword. The issue with this is that it's asymmetrical. You can reach much further above you than beneath you. The solution, however, is nice and simple. I move the hit and hurt boxes down to the floor. Imagine there is a light shining directly above the player, and the hit and hurt boxes are the shadows cast on the ground. This way, everything is on the same 2D plane, and combat is perfectly symmetrical. Next, I needed some new areas to fill with ghouls. First, I draw the rough shape of the area in pencil. Next, I use a fine pen to add detail to the border. Once complete, I take a picture. Ideally, a scanner would be used instead. I open the picture in Paint.net, my picture editor of choice, max out the contrast and play with the brightness to try and remove the pencil lines and keep the pen lines. Then it's time to clean it up, removing any stray pixels and filling in any breaks in the lines. Next, I duplicate the layer and erase the background, or anything I want to appear behind the player in this case, the ground and tree trunks. Finally, I fill both layers in with my chosen color palette and explore each layer separately. Then it's over to Godot, where I place some more scenery and set up collisions, navigation, and exits. To balance the game from single player to co-op, I simply double the number of enemies. This makes sense to me. Double the players, double the enemies. For unique enemies such as bosses, I guess I'll double the health instead. I replaced the enemies in the area after you meet Terence with a couple of crawlers and one skinny ghoul. Once you have cleared the area, you can proceed to a small clearing, where Terence will give you a sword, explain parrying, and remind you of the importance of avoiding damage and keeping an eye on your stamina. The next area contains many more ghouls, including the first chunky ghoul. The final area will see you fight multiple chunky ghouls at the same time. I have left a couple of the tougher enemies at the end, they won't be here in the final game, but it seems a shame to remove them completely until I create a new home for them. Next, I was really excited to add the first proper song to my game. It's incredibly simple, but fits the vibe. There are three sections. The intro, which has some high plucked guitar notes. The main loop, which adds the main guitar melody. A 
variation with drums added. And a further variation with additional percussion. Finally, the outro. I then got this set up as an adaptive soundtrack. When you encounter the first enemies, the intro will play, followed by the main loop with no drums. The drums kick in once you have a sword and encounter the second lot of enemies. The additional percussion is added on the final area, and the outro plays once you have cleared it of enemies. The final thing to add is respawning. Until you reach the first save point, I simply want players to respawn in the area they are currently in. I got this set up and added a short animation of Terence dragging you back. And there we have it. The first 5 or 10 minutes of gameplay are finally complete. And it only took me, what, a year or so? I've been learning everything as I go, and I find more and more that I no longer have to Google every single small feature that I want to add. And I'm gaining a lot of confidence as a video game designer. So thank you very much to everyone that's been watching and following along. There's a link in the description if you want to play the game in its current state. I'd be especially interested in how difficult you find it, as I'm trying to hit a difficult balance of being engaging both the players who are experienced in other challenging action RPGs, such as Dark Souls, and people who have never played an RPG before. I'm getting fairly close to finishing Chapter 1 now. The next area will have a campsite, which will be the first save point where you can heal and level up. And then we'll have a bandit camp with the first boss fight of the game. So consider sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one.